staying with us after the break. I promised you I'd bring you Brandy Chastain, and she's going to be talking about teen travel, things that will be of interest to you as your teens have this fantastic summer. Brandy, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Thank you, Valder. Good morning. Well, you know, we've got summertime. We've got people, young people with times on their hand. What can you tell us about they, what they can do positive this summer? Well, I grew up playing and participating in team sports, and I found it a, a great way for my family to spend time together, um, you know, locally as well as traveling around uh, the country and ultimately with me with the Olympics and World Cups internationally. So uh, the best thing uh, as a parent now I can do for my kids is to spend time supporting them, whether that's on or off the field. As a former Olympic participant and do you find want your kids to be as fit and as active as you Well, I hope that they enjoy athletics because I know the benefits, that the health benefits, number one, and, and what it can do for their, their health and their wellness over time. Um, and I know that it can build their self-esteem and self-confidence. So that's why I encourage all boys and girls to participate, and I encourage parents to get out there on the field with their kids and play in the park and go to the playground. Um, there's nothing better than watching your kids grow in not only in their physical body, but I think in terms of their spirit and their mind and their and their self-confidence. Participate, because I see so many parents uh, huddled in parent <laughs> Well, there, there's no doubt. I, I think I'm one of those parents who's on the spider web net or down the slide and climbing up the jungle gym. And hopefully, like on the soccer field, I, I try to be a good role model about working hard and uh, being determined and um, ha setting goals. And I try to do that as a parent, too, that showing my, my sons that my participation is a, an example to them how they need to participate as well. What more inspiration can you give my listening audience? Can they go on the web and find some information? Absolutely. You know, you want to spend time with your kids. Like you, 40 million kids or more are going to be participating in team sports this summer. So my advice and my solution to saving time and money is going on to HolidayInExpress.com slash team travel. They have a team travel center where you can take care of all your accommodations for the summer with one visit. Uh, and we know that equipment and uniforms and fees for teams are really, um, you know, they, they come as surprises and team travel is also one of them. So, um, you know, what you can do and find at the team travel center is that you get a complimentary breakfast. There's things to do off the field like going to the pool or the fitness center, using the free Wi-Fi um, at Holiday Inn Express. So that to me is the best way parents can not only engage um, the, the travel that their kids are doing, but it's also a way for them to feel good about the money that they're spending. Yes, my husband and I took a trip back to his hometown in Chicago, and at our hotel it was just a huge group of girls <laughs> that were traveling. They were doing the free breakfast and all that thing, and I thought that was so very, very good. It's absolutely wonderful because not only do they need that fuel to uh, do what they need to do on the field or in the classroom or, like you said, with the, the Girl Scouts, maybe selling cookies. Um, but they, they, I think they, what they need is a healthy breakfast, and, and it certainly exists with the complimentary breakfast you get through this um, accommodations. Now that you're a parent, and, and how many kids do you have? Two, yes. What's different about Olympic style? How does that segue together for you? You know, I think what I've, I learn a lot every day. I think the most important thing I can do as a parent is listen to my children. Um, what is it that they're really saying to me um, as opposed to me telling them what they should want or, or need? Um, having um, patience is, is something that I've learned. And, you know, on the field I've learned a lot of lessons about being a champion and being successful. And I'm trying to segue those lessons into my parenting skills. and. I think sometimes um, the game will change um, as it did on the soccer field and you know parenting is not um, by the book so you have to think on your feet and and be willing and flexible to uh, change plans and and that has been a challenge for me but I think it's also been very good and I and I've grown a lot as a parent and do you guys do soccer at home you know oh yeah we we do everything we, you know not just soccer we um, I think yesterday my uh, my son and I my five-year-old were playing um, football on the driveway and he's learning how to catch and how to throw the ball and you know and he's now we got him a little basketball hoop and he's slam dunking it so it's like you know we do everything uh, he's not quite yet ready for team activity um,
but we do it together as mom and, and son, and I love it. I like what you said. He's not yet ready. Yeah. So that's a great parent. Is that? Well, Brandy, thank you so very much for the inspiration. Now, where do you want them to go on the web again to find more information? It would be great if they could go to HolidayInExpress.com slash team travel. They can take care of all their accommodations for the summer. They can save, save, save. Well, Brandy Chastain, thank you so very much for giving us that summer inspiration. I know it will be invaluable <laughs> to our parents well, thank and our you. listening audience. Thank you so much.